Yeah, so you're going to see a lot of jobs asking for some Microsoft Defender experience, which is what I, I want to go over today, because that stuff is really crucial to doing your job. What I'm doing right now is Defender stuff, and I'm going to go over it real quick. Not a lot. I'll show you what they do, how it works, and what is it. Um, so this is a, is a job right here. Um, this is an example of one job. I don't see anything about I, Microsoft here. Look at the other one. Uh, let's look at this job, Cyber Arc, Archer, Defender, XDR. So I'm going to go to another one. Um, Preview Archer. Defender is probably around here somewhere. Yep, Defender, XDR. So a lot of these companies are asking for that. And if we go to um, Microsoft, Defender, XDR, um, and then we're just going to go to Microsoft XDR, and um, here it is. Here's the more information about it. Status identity endpoints. It looks just like this. Um, and I have an actual account for, for that. Um, and then Microsoft XDR, you know, sort of breach enterprise defense suite. And yet that will, yet that will, yet that will license. Otherwise, otherwise it's not included in the product. So you got to have a license for this. Otherwise, it's not going to work, and you won't be able to do anything. But yeah, it's, it interacts with a bunch of stuff. So yeah, it's very, really, really good, really good stuff to know if you're trying to do some blue team stuff. Definitely recommend you learn these skills. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin Tick here, bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday! And today I want to go over uh, Microsoft Defender XDR, um, which is what I'm doing right now in my job. Obviously, we do make sure you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate. It. All right, so today I want to go over some Microsoft XDR stuff. Um, just like you gotta have a license for this. So we're gonna go. Let me just share my screen real quick and go over this. It's not gonna be a long video, but I do want to go over this. So. Microsoft XDR is a pre, pre and post breach inter enterprise defense suite that it coordinates with detention, prevention, and investigation response uh, across endpoints, identities. Uh, Microsoft Defender does a bunch of stuff. So, and I'll show you real quick how it looks like. And, I, and we're gonna we're gonna actually do some of the recommendations that Defender is asking for. So right now I'm logged in here with my admin center suite. Um, to get access to that, you have to click on Endpoint Manager. I have it open already. And then this is your Intune Admin, which I went and made a video on this. And then this is your Defender. So Defender, um, if you want to co connect your, your SIM solution, whether it's Sentinel or Sentinel, so you could connect to Workspace, right? I don't have anything, so I really can't do anything. But this is some, you know, this is some great information right here. Um so we have connector, and then these are your incident incidents right here. If you click on incidents, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have anything because we don't have any. I don't get weird emails or spam or phishing or anything. But let me just do six months ago. Maybe I have something in there from six months ago. Oh, here we go. Malware incident on one endpoint. This is that video. I made a video on malware before. Um, putting this file in here, and um. I believe it was, I believe it was just blocked. Like it got blocked by default. So yeah, it was marked as suspicious. And then if you click on it, I, I believe it was, it was, it didn't do anything. It was just blocked. So that's just one of the incidents. So you have your alerts here as well. Um, the ones that we want to look at, if that makes sense, that we should look at, or what I look at every day in my job, um, there's vulnerability management. Um, and there is endpoints, investigation. So you're going to go, we're going to go back to home for a second, right? And we're going to go to Microsoft score. So this is the one that I want to look at. So this is Microsoft score. Um, right now we have 46.67%. Uh, if you go to recommended actions, it'll tell you like, oh, what can you do to make it better? So what can we do to make it better? So this is like recommended by Microsoft Security Score. So it says, says turn on Defender for our Office SharePoint, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams. And it tells you how to do it. Like literally tells you how to how to do it. And if you click on like, let's just click on this. It will give you a recommendation on how to set it up or do it. So it says connect to security um, to turn set this as active. 
So if e if email in collaboration with information is on, not only on PowerShell, turn this on. So we're going to go to email collaboration alerts, right? Let's give it a second. This is like a little slow. So there's nothing there right now. Um, I think it's like really, really slow. I got to log into my account. Um, and then you have your, your alerts and alerts policies. So I can create a policy if I like. But let me just, for now, we should leave it alone. Let me look at another one that's recommended by the vendor. So we're going to go back to, we're going to go back to home. We're going to go back to security score. Uh, we're going to recommend actions. And uh, let's see what this is. External sharing calendar is not available. Okay, so it says it wants me to go to Office 365 Exchange Admin. Okay. And it says go to organization sharing, individual sharing, default sharing. Uh, and it says individual sharing, make sure all policies are on tick. Let's see what's going on here. Seems like they're on tick. All right, that's fine. So I guess I'm going to worry about that. Uh, we're going to go to another one. So this is. Um, this is ensure global tenant settings, safe protections are configured as follow, turn on safe documents and to office clients should be turned on. This is another one. Uh, and it will tell you like how to do it. So like you could do it in PowerShell. If you have an exchange online print, uh, permissions, um, you have, you could do it on intra. So here, So it says go to email and collaborations. Let me see. Email and collaboration. Email collaboration. I'm on the wrong one. It's actually this one. Email called policies and rules. Um, and it says go to policies and rules, threat policies. And then it says from threat policies, go to safe attachments. I'm not sure if anything is created in there, built-in protection. On safe attachments. So a load policy. That's fine. It's just something to go to global settings. So I'm gonna go to global settings. Um, and it says turn on Defender for Office 365. And it says here, uh, turn on safe documents for office clients. Turn on feature. Okay. Turn on feature and it hit save. So there we go. That's just one example. That's how you would do it. I mean, literally, you just go to, you know, you go to your, you go to your Microsoft score. Um, and then if you want to improve your score, you just do whatever they're recommending. And you hit history here. They'll tell you like, oh, he just made a change just now, and it should go. The point should go up. It's not gonna go up right now because sometimes some of these take a while to take effect. Um, we have this other one for phishing. So configuring phishing. So if like you want to change the phishing settings, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with that one. Trying to look for one that I could do right now that it's not gonna take forever to do, right? Uh, this is anti-spam policy.
Go directly to anti-spam policy page. Okay. It's the same thing as the other one. Email and collaboration defenders. Permissions active. Security groups. Yeah, I'm not going to... Well, actually, this use anti voice to create anti-policy. Create a policy. Uh, I'm not going to do this one. Let's look for another one. This is PowerShell. Uh... Might be able to do this one. Navigate to go to compliance. Navigate to Microsoft Preview. That's what I was trying to get into. It was just giving me a hard time for some reason. So that's the other one. There's like several ones here you could do. Um, there's this one. There's this other one. So it says, let me see if I can duplicate this. Just to do it in, in just to do it in, in uh PowerShell. Um Our show. You need a you need a Microsoft Azure subscription to do some of these PowerShell commands. I don't have a subscription right now. Uh, it's just that one. You could probably do this one. So let me go to this one right here real quick. This is Exchange Admin. Uh, let me make this smaller so you guys could see what I'm doing. Exchange admin, go to roles, go to user roles, um, default role, manage permissions, and then un uh, under under other roles, uncheck uncheck my custom apps. Okay, my marketplace apps, my read write mailbox apps. Uh, and then save changes. Okay. All right, cool. So I just did that one. Um, and this is created policy. So it's like it says here. No, oh, I don't. I don't have this. So it's like it's, it's giving me that. It has a little X because I don't have this specific thing that they're asking for. Um, this one says I could do this one. And I think I opened up Microsoft Preview here. Yeah. Under solutions, click information, information protection. Okay. Uh, ensure label, ensure label exists. Okay. Labels are there. Okay. And then do you want me to create a label? Make sure labels are published on a licensed users group. Okay, so you, enabling label binders is to okay. Let's turn this on. Yes, yeah, turn it on. You agree to turn on labeling for Azure? Yes, turn it on, baby. Turn it on. Turn it on. All right. 
And then you could create a label as well here. Uh, and it's for priorities and information and the scope is right. Obviously, I can't go past this because I have to put something in here, which I'm not. But let me go back. I'm sure I had turn on, but it's not letting me turn it on for some reason, which is weird. All right, that's fine. I'll leave that one alone. Um, and then this one's a Teams one. And there's like so many here. I'll just show you guys like, um, if they're asking you for XDR experience, you, you for Microsoft Defender XDR experience, you just go in here, you play around with this, create an account, and then just play around with it. You don't get comfortable with it. Our score right now, my actually my security score right now, um, I have to wait for it to go up because I just made some changes. But um, the score, my score right now is at ninety something right now in my company. But we also have. We also have uh, um, we also have a, a Microsoft Sentinel part of it as well, if that makes sense. So like Sentinel's on it. I connected the workspace already, um, and I put a bunch of stuff together. So that's how ours is set up. But you know, I'm not gonna go over that today. I don't have a license for Sentinel. I could get one, but I'm not gonna go over that today. But yeah, that's it for me. I know. I know it's like for someone that's new. This is not this video is not for you. If you have experience and you're trying to get into IT, you're trying to learn some some solutions like Microsoft Defender with XDR, then this video is good for you. For someone that has no experience, you cannot you not understand what I'm doing or what I'm talking about. So obviously, if someone that has already helped us IT support experience, desktop support experience, or some system admin experience, they may understand what I'm doing here. If that makes sense. But that's it for me for this one. I just wanted to show you a, like a quick overview of Microsoft Defender with XDR. All right. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Peace.